Okay, Eddie. The rules are, I hit the ball into your square. You let it bounce once, then hit it back to me. Got it? Got it. Here you go. Now you're playing two square Tessa style. Ooh. Hey. Ha! Did you see that? That was so high. Eddie, the rules say the ball has to stay in the square. So you're out, and now it's Kobe's turn. Watch this, Kobe. Huh. Oh. Eddie, it's not your turn anymore. But this is really fun. I know, but we're playing a game now, and those are the rules. See what happens when you don't play right, Eddie? Sorry, Lucky. Here we go again. Come on! <sighs> I bet the animals in the jungle don't have to follow rules. Hey, Sophie, want to go on a jungle adventure with me? Um, okay. What do you want to do in the jungle? We can do anything we want there. Come on! Uh, all right. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. what they're supposed to do. It's the jungle! Coming through! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Lunch! <laughs> These cars are so cool! <laughs> Go ahead! Take one for a spin! <laughs> Come on, Sophie! Let's drive! Are you sure it's okay? It's the jungle, Sophie! Uh, okay. Let's drive. Yeah! Woohoo! This is amazing! Look! An eating, reading, skateboarding monkey! This jungle is awesome! I'm not sure she should be doing all that at the same time. Why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> Monkey. Hi, I'm Eddie, and this is Sophie. Hi. Awesome. You guys want to come and play with me? Yeah. Hey, I know a great place. Oh, you're going to love it. Follow me. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> come on, Sophie. Uh, but what about the car? Don't worry, just leave it. Come on, faster. <laughs> Oh, boy. Wow! A national playground! I think he means natural. That, too! <laughs> Come on! Let's slide! Don't you slide down a slide? Nah, that's the way hippos do it. But we monkeys, we never follow the rules. <laughs> Me neither. I never follow the rules. Um, <laughs> maybe hippos have a reason for following the rules. Come on up, 
ready? There's room for two! Woo! That looks like fun! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Come on up! <laughs> Wee! Woo! Only one person at a time is allowed on the swing. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. Wee! This Woo! is fun! That was awesome! Yeah, but this bird nest fell. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Are the eggs okay? Yeah, they're okay. Okay, here we go. So see, swinging together didn't hurt anything. Um, I think it kind of did. I guess that's why there's such a long line. Lines are for elephants. Monkeys have better things to do than wait in line. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Excuse me, step aside. Meg, you cut in line in front of that baby. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Ah. Uh... You made him cry, Meg. I did? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, but I was thirsty. The rules of good manners say you should wait your turn. But you don't like rules, right? I think maybe I do sometimes. Hey, come on! I want to show you another really cool place! Um... Uh... But it's a really cool place! Let's go! <sighs> hey, follow me! I'm gonna get one of the apples from that tree! Whoop. Nice one! Uh, I know you don't like rules, Eddie, but you shouldn't just climb over a fence. I bet there's a good reason you're not supposed to go in there. Ugh, I know, but... The apples are delicious, Sophie! <laughs> the big ones are near the top! <laughs> oh, I'm so itchy! Why am I so itchy? <laughs> Me too! I think those flowers might be itch weeds! <laughs> itch weeds? We never should have come in here, Meg Monkey! They keep us safe and sound. When you're not sure of what to do, they're good to have around. Rules are there for a reason. They help us do what's right. Sometimes it's hard to follow them, but please keep them in sight. Try to pay attention and follow all the signs. Don't go up when it says down and wait your turn in line. You may want to play somewhere is in your way. Just follow the rules and don't go in and you'll stay safe all day. Rules are there for a reason. They keep us safe and sound. When you're not sure of what to do, they're good to have around. They're good to have around. Woo! Rules are awesome. <laughs> Tessa! Steady Eddie is ready to play again. And I promise, this time I'll play by the rules. There's a line, Eddie. Oh, sorry, just passing through. I'm after Sophie, right? Yep. Huh. Huh. Hey guys, what about a new rule? If 
you're not playing, then you have to cheer really, really loud. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! What's wrong? Don't you like my new rule? Yeah, I like it. All right. Sounds fun. Me too. Let's cheer! What you doing, Kobe? I'm making new stuff out of old stuff. Greetings, Earthlings. The same way Tess and Mia made a new alien costume out of old boxes. What is this Tessa and Mia you speak of? Look at this other head. It is a fun Earth thing. <laughs> 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 yes, you are right, other head. And steady Eddie shoots. He scores and the crowd goes wild! Yeah! Woohoo! This isn't trash, Eddie. It can be recycled. The recycling truck will take it so it can get turned into a new can or part of a bike or maybe even an airplane. Huh. It looks like trash to me. <gasps> that sounds like the recycling truck. Wow! I'd love to drive one of those big trucks. Wouldn't you? <gasps> Zika digga do! That's a great idea! Uh, what is? We should go on a recycling adventure and drive one of those trucks. We could find all kinds of cool stuff to recycle or reuse. Yeah, but I just want to drive a truck. You'd get to drive an awesome truck with flashy lights and grindy sounds and a huge back that opens up and... Okay, okay. Let's do it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Look at this truck! This is amazing! Let's drive! Buckle up! wore a lot of party hats. Or a lot of somebody's each wore one. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> now these old party hats will be turned into brand new party hats. And Steady Eddie is ready to go. Huh? Let's go, Kobe. I want to drive. Hmm. All those hats could be made into new hats, but why don't we see what this magical recycling truck can do with them? <sighs> well, okay. 
But then can we drive? Sure. Wow! Ziga Ziga do! Party hats <laughs> to party streamer, and I know just where we can hang it at the annual Monkey Madness Food, Fashion, and Fun Festival. Oh, it's perfect! This will really bring in the crowds. Thanks, you're welcome. And we've been saving all our milk jugs for you. Hey, thanks! <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Scientific fact. Plastic milk jugs can be recycled into new milk jugs. Yeah, but I wonder what our magical recycling truck can turn them into. Let's find out. And I know who these are for. Bowling pins for bowling pigs. Yeah! Awesome! Nice work, fellas. <laughs> Do you guys have anything here for us to recycle? S mm, sorry, nothing to recycle. Just a bunch of old tires. Okay, thanks. By the way, thanks for these bowling pins. It's not much fun bowling with just a ball. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Kobe, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yup. Want to see what a recycling truck can do with those tires? Oh, yeah. For. Oh, thanks for these. They'll keep my babies busy for a long while. You're welcome, Ruthie. Rocking horses for rocking rabbits. <laughs> Excuse me, Ruthie. Do you have anything to be recycled? I have some junk I was going to throw away. Throw away? You boys have imagination. Can you reuse anything? I think we can. That thing from in your past might seem like it won't last. Don't throw it away so fast, because you might just have a blast. Okay, maybe not everything can be reused. But almost everything you use can be made into something new. Making something brand new, something new for me and you. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. 
them. Rock on, Ruthie! Go, Ruthie! Welcome back. We made some cool earth music makers. From junk we were throwing away. Anything is possible. When you use a little imagination. <laughs> Almost everything you use can be made into something new. Making something brand new. Something new for me and you. A drum. <laughs> oh, lucky. <sighs> what this place needs is some good laughs. Hey, Kobe. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Moo. <laughs> Get it? The cow interrupts and says, moo. We got it. It's funny. I know. Thanks. Twinkle, twinkle, magic wand. Make this dog sleep on and on. I think it's working. <laughs> Jack, you woke up poor Lucky. <laughs> but it was funny, right? Nope. I'll put a little bit here and maybe over here and... Oh, yeah. This is going to be so funny. A little more yellow. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Just touch up the hair. <laughs> Petty, don't move, please. Something's tickling me. And a little bit of blue. Oh, right <laughs> here. Hey! Oh! <laughs> a blue mustache. That is funny. No, it's not. You made me mess up my painting. I was just trying to be funny. I thought you guys liked it when I'm funny. We do like it. Sometimes. But right now, everyone is doing other stuff. And your funny stuff is wrecking it. Well, I think my funny stuff is funny. But if you guys don't like it, I'll find something else to do. I'm gonna go on a farm adventure, Jack. Wanna come with me? Okay, that sounds like fun. Me too! I wanna go too! Sure, all four of us can go. Great, and maybe I can finally figure out why the chicken crossed the road. <laughs> get it? I don't get it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Good 
good morning to you kids. I'd love to stop and visit, but I'm a little too busy today. You have to move all this hay by yourself? I'm afraid so. My husband Bernie is out working in the field today. I know what will make it easier. A good joke. Uh, or maybe we could just help? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Move! Ah! Move! <laughs> hey, that was my line. <laughs> Settle down, dear. I'm sorry. My little Catherine's still a baby. She doesn't always know how to control herself yet. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Mama. Oh, she has so much energy. It makes it hard to get any work done. We'd be happy to help you stack the hay bales. And I could take Catherine outside and keep her busy. Oh, that would be wonderful. Now, where is my cowbell? I need it to call everyone in for lunch soon. <laughs> Me hide it, Mama. <laughs> Catherine, my cowbell is not a toy. Where did you hide it? I forgot it. Sorry, Mama. Don't worry. I'll help her look for it. Ooh. Good luck, and thank you. Okay, Catherine, think. Where did you hide the cowbell? <laughs> Chickens, run, run, run! <laughs> <laughs> Chicken. No, Catherine. <laughs> no funny? They don't really like it when you chase them around. Why don't you feed them some chicken food instead? They would definitely like that. Okay. Happy chickens. Happy, 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 happy. Happy. <laughs> gentle, Catherine. Gentle. Now I do know why the chickens cross the road. To get away from Catherine. <laughs> piggies, piggies. <laughs> we go see piggies. No, Catherine. Wait. We're looking for the cowbell, remember? <laughs> piggies, funny. <laughs> They're not trying to be funny, Catherine. They're making that noise because they want apples, too. Uh, not being funny? No, it's not nice to tease them. I know. Maybe we can make them because they're happy. <laughs> yeah. Happy piggies, happy piggies. <laughs> yes. They like it when you do something nice for them. You know what? We should both try to stop and think about how what we do makes others feel. Huh? You gotta stop and think, then think again. What's funny to you may not be funny to them. Feelings too. Have fun, but in the end, make sure that they're having fun with you. You gotta stop and think, then think again. What's funny to you may not be funny to them. So stop and think before you do. And don't just think about you, you, you. And think again What's funny to you may not be funny to them So stop and think before you do And don't just think about you, you, you Be thoughtful of your friends Friends have feelings too Have fun but in the end Make 
sure that they're having fun with you. <laughs> you got it, Catherine. Oh, Catherine. <gasps> Catherine remembered. <laughs> Mama's bell. Oh, <laughs> you remembered where you hid it. Good job, Catherine. I sorry, Mama. Hiding not funny. That's okay, sweetie. And thank you, Jack, for helping my baby. Sometimes I forget to think of others, too. Sorry, guys. We're both going to try to do better. Right, Catherine? Moo! <laughs> <laughs> cookies and milk. Yeah! I bet if I snuck up on Mia and yelled, boo, she'd jump in the air and drop her cookie. Uh, Jack, I don't know. But I won't, because that might be funny to me, but I don't think it would make Mia very happy. Here, Jack. Ah! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> now that was funny. <laughs> Green light. Whoosh. Red light. Don't worry, drowsy doggy. Super Eddie is always ready to save you from a great big snake. Super Eddie wins again. Woo! Yeah! Green light. Whoa! <laughs> oh, sorry, Kobe. You moved. You have to go back to the start. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Green light. Red light. Green light. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> My turn to be the light. Okay. Woohoo! Eddie, come and play with us. Super Eddie is ready to play. Green light. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I win. Eddie, that wasn't fair. You used your scooter. But Super Eddie is always super fast. Using a scooter is cheating. No one said I couldn't use it. It's okay, guys. Let's just do that one over again. Sorry, Sophie. No time for games. I hear a call for help. I don't hear anything. Nope. That's because you don't have super hearing. It's time for a super ready adventure. Who wants to come? I'll go. Me too. Okay, let's go. Yay! Have fun, guys. <laughs> We're going to finish our game. some fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any situation let's go on an adventure exploring someplace new go near and far together there's so much we can do so hey hey come out and play we're going on an adventure today we're gonna have so much fun <laughs> <Whee! laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, where's Eddie? Woohoo! There he is! Greetings, friends! Hey, Super Eddie! I still don't hear anyone calling for help. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me give away all these fantastic prizes. I told you someone needed help. 
Super Eddie is here to help you. By winning some of your prizes, that is. Perfect. Anyone else? Oh, 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 me, me! All righty then. First one to blow up five balloons wins big, big, big! <gasps> wow, he's good at this. Ah. I'll just use my super blowing power. <gasps> Excellent. Here you go. Wow, that's a big prize. But, Eddie, the monkeys don't have super blowing power. <laughs> Do you think you should have used yours? No one said I couldn't use it, and it helped me win this cool prize. Here, you can have it. I'm going to go win some more. Yay! I don't know. It doesn't seem fair. You get three chances to knock down one set of bottles and win a small prize. What if I knock them all down in one shot? Then you win a big prize. Now, who wants to play? Just step right up. This will be easy peasy. I'll use my super throwing power. Ah! <laughs> Yes! I'll go again! Whoa! You win again! Woohoo! Again! Uh, Eddie, you should let the monkey try now. Oh, uh, okay. After this turn. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Awesome! Let's go play something else. Um, I'm gonna stay here, Eddie. I want to watch the monkey play. Oh, okay. I'll stay too. everyone cheering. I hit the bottles every time. Well, it's not so easy peasy to do when you don't use superpowers. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Be the first to hit the bell and win a prize. Hit it on your first try and win a super duper prize. Watch my super duper smashing power win that super duper prize. Wow, that was super duper. <laughs> yes. I want to try next. All righty then. Ring that bell. <sighs> The bell didn't ring. <laughs> oh, I did it! It took you two tries, and you did it, young lady. Good job. Want to trade prizes, Mia? I already have a bunch of them. No, thanks. I won this prize all by myself. You could have won a super-duper prize if you had used your super princess magic power. I know, but that wouldn't have been fair to the other player. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I wasn't really playing fair when I used my superpowers. Nope. It's fun to win, but don't you want to know if you could win without using superpowers? Yeah. I'm going to try everything again, Mia. Only this time, I'm going to play fair. Playing is fun when playing is fair And everyone has a chance To try their best To learn new things And build their confidence When the game says walk and someone runs Well, that's not really fair If we have to blow regular breath Then I shouldn't blow super air! Playing is fun when playing is fair And everyone gets a chance To try their
playing a game where we use strength to ring the bell on a tower. It's not fair if I win the game by using my superpower. Playing is fun when playing is fair and everyone gets a chance to try their best to learn new things and build their confidence. <laughs> Great job. Hey, wait! Aren't you going to take these prizes, young man? No thanks. I like the one that I earned. You guys can have them. <laughs> <laughs> I want the banana! <laughs> hey, guys! Can we play, too? You can, but no more Super Eddie. Don't worry, I'm done with Super Eddie for today. Regular Eddie will use the power of fairness to put the scooter away. Okay then, this time we can all pretend that we're driving real cars. Yeah, that's fair, because we'll all be driving cars, not just one of us. Let's do <laughs> it! Yay! Woohoo! I'm a police car. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. I'm a race car. Vroom, vroom. I'm an old car. <laughs> nice one, Eddie. <laughs> Green light. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Vroom, vroom. Oh, look, a frog with the crown. I bet you're really a prince. Ribbit, yep, that's what I am. A frog prince. Ribbit, pass it. Ugh. Uh, nice shot. Poor, poor Froggy. Uh, Mia, watch out, Froggy. Some mean witch put a magic spell on you. Mia! Didn't you hear? Hear what? Oh, look. Bet Ella's going to Mrs. Melman's house. I bet she's checking on her kitty. I'm going to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I'll help lots of animals. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> Sophie's going to be a great vet someday. But first she'll have to practice with lots of animals. Huh? huh? You're right, Eddie. And there are lots of animals in the jungle. <sighs> That's why I'm going on a jungle adventure. Sounds like fun. I'll come with you. Oh, me too. Me too. Maybe there's a frog there we can turn into a prince. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm veterinarian Sophie. And I'm her assistant, Mia. And I'm... What am I, vet Sophie? You're the, um, note-taking, problem-asking, people-greeting-behind-the-desk person. The medical receptionist. Cool! So, why don't you all tell me why you're here to see the vet? <laughs> okay, I see. Uh-huh, I hear you. It's important for a vet to listen carefully to the patient before deciding what's wrong. Then we can make sure each of them gets the right treatment. Ooh, stickers. I can't wait to hand out stickers. Vet Sophie, this is Benji. And here is his chart. Interesting. Thanks, Kobe. So how are you feeling, Benji? Cold. You have a cold? Oh, no! But, but I... Ah, 
You're going to need lots of tissues and cough drops and soup and a nice warm blanket. That's nice, Mia, but let's listen to everything Benji has to say. Thank you, Vet Sophie. I was going to say I have cold feet. When did you first notice this? Um, right before I went to bed last night. I see. And do you usually wear something on your feet at bedtime? Oh, yes. I wear nice, warm, fuzzy slippers. But I lost them. Then I have just the right treatment for you. Medical receptionist Kobe, can you please bring in a pair of warm, fuzzy slippers size super duper extra, extra large? Sure. Oh, um, actually, make that two pairs of slippers. I'm on it. Here you go, Vet Sophie. Thanks, Kobe. Oh, <laughs> warm and fuzzy on all four feet. Thank you. I feel so much better now. <laughs> Woohoo! That Sophie, this is Mel. She doesn't know why she keeps bouncing up and down. Uh, like that. So, Mel, let's take a listen. We don't need to listen. I can tell that Mel has a case of the jumping jitters. We can use a big piece of super sticky tape to stick her tail to the floor so she'll stop bouncing. <laughs> Maybe we should listen a little closer to our patient, Mia. My stethoscope can hear what's going on inside her body. <clears throat> I think you have the hiccups. Hiccup. Don't worry, they don't last long. But sometimes it helps to hold your breath and count to five. Try it with me. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Um, what comes next? <laughs> Pretty sure it's not six or eight. It's five! <sighs> <sighs> Looks like your hiccups are gone. <laughs> Glad we could help. Holly Ostrich was here a minute ago. Uh, but I think I lost him. I think I found him. Uh, Vet Sophie, we've got a patient who's a little scared. Hmm. Ollie just needs someone to listen to him and calm him down. I'll go see him. Murray Penguin? You'll be next, Murray. Follow me. Just wait right here. Vet Sophie will be back soon. No need to wait for Vet Sophie. I can see what's wrong with you without even asking. You're sad. And I bet I know why. Nobody remembered your birthday. Mia to the rescue! Oh, here you go. Oh. This will help. Here you go. Hold this. Hmm. Perfect. Oops. Sorry, Murray. All better now, Ollie. We'll give you a ride home as soon as I see the last patient. What in the name of busted balloons happened here? Murray Penguin is sad, so I tried to cheer him up. But I think I made it worse. Why is he sad? I thought I knew, but I didn't really listen, and I don't know. Hi, Murray. Can you tell us why you've got the gloomies? Hmm, a picture of snow. Like where you come from? <gasps> you ice skate there, right? <laughs> that does look like fun. It's a snowman! Now I know why you're sad. I listened to you and now I know. You miss your home, right? 
Good listening, Mia. Now, let's make you feel better. Next stop, Snow Globia. Listening's what you need to do. So you hear your friends and they hear you. You'll never know what you might be missing if you don't stop and give a little listen. Hear that happy penguin sound, cause now you're home all safe and sound. Turns out that's what he was missing. And all we did was give a little listen. something out. Remember the monkey with the hiccups? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mia. Yep, I was listening. Snack time! I've got cookies. I heard that. Yum! See? Good things happen when you listen. Cookies for you, cookies for you. Thank you! <laughs> Ooh, these are delicious. Get ready for Steady Eddie to kick this ball to the sky! Here it comes! Uh. Uh. I got it! Huh. Oh. Great kick, Eddie! Oh, thanks! Now it's Tessa's turn to kick. Hey, where are you going, Eddie? It's Colby's turn to pitch and your turn to catch. No thanks. I just like kicking. That's not fair to us. You have to play all the parts of the game, not just the fun parts. Kobe can throw and catch. He's really good at it. <laughs> what do you see, Mr. Papa? Never mind. I'll look myself. Oh, the bus is coming. Emily, the bus driver, is so nice. And she gets to drive a bus. She's always right on time. And she gets to drive a bus. She stops at every single bus stop. And she gets to drive a bus. Maybe we should go on a bus driving adventure together. Great idea, Sophie. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. We're going on a bus driving adventure. Want to come? Okay, sounds like fun. Woohoo! I'm gonna drive a bus. Let's go! You know, 
know, Eddie, part of a bus driver's job is to politely wait for the passengers to board. Uh, maybe. But the fun part is driving. That screen shows you all the places you have to stop. Huh? You better slow down, Eddie. The first stop is coming up now. No one here? Okay, let's go. I want to get off here and go say hi. Yeah, me too. <sighs> hi. Hello, Tortoise Queen. Hello. Are you coming? No, thanks. I don't want to say hi. I want to drive. It's super fun. I love super fun. I'll go with you. Cool. We'll come back and pick them up later. Oh, oh. Goodness, he's in a hurry. I suppose that's good. He'll be picking up guests for our party. Party? Every year, we celebrate the day I was crowned queen of the jungle. With music, cake, decorations. You're all invited, of course. Though we're not quite ready yet. Would you like some help? I would love some help. Then the perfect party planning people are here. Let's get busy, everyone. Ah! Driving through the mud is awesome. <laughs> What a wonderful stage. Perfect for the monkey band. Uh, where is the band? They'll be on the bus when it gets back here. I think that was a bus stop, Eddie. You should have stopped. Hold on, Mia. This is going to be a big one. Table. Thanks. I hope it's big enough for the cake. And if we're going to have cake, we're going to need plates. And forks. And forks and forks and forks. And very special napkins. Yes! How wonderful! Our guests will love this. Whoa! <laughs> I feel like a He can start the moment the bus arrives. Here it is now! Woohoo! That was awesome! Eddie, where are the guests? <laughs> guests? Yes, they were coming on the bus. And bringing the music, and cake, and decorations. 
Uh-oh. I guess I should have stopped at those bus stops, huh, Mia? Yes, Eddie. That's what bus drivers do. Yeah. I guess everyone was counting on me to do every part of the job, not just the fun driving part. Mm, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll just go back and do the route again. And this time, I'll stop at every bus stop. I promise. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Fantastic! We know you like to drive the bus and never want to stop. But once you've picked up all the gas, this party's gonna pop. Your best with everything and do it with a smile. When you decide to start something and finish it in style, they're counting on me to do my part, not just the part that's fun. So I will help with everything and think about everyone. Ever, hey guys? Yeah! Woohoo! What a great party! So fun! Best party ever! Yay! <laughs> hey, anyone want to play ball now? Sure, let's all play! I'll go outfield and catch! But you don't like to catch. Hey, if you want to play a game, you gotta play all the parts, right? Right. That makes it fair for everyone. Awesome! Yay! Let's do it! Oh. Uh, oh, yes! I got it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lucky. Oh. Wow! You know, catching's kind of fun, too. Now it's my turn to pitch to Kobe! Eddie's in a pitch! Woohoo! <laughs> Yes, I can! Nope! Yup! <laughs> You're really good at playing puppets, Tessa. Thanks, I'm always ready for action. Tessa style! But if we're going to do our puppet show today, we need to figure out the story. You're good at that part, Sophie. So you do that, and I'll start the show! No, wait! We need a plan! Come on, everyone! Come see our puppet show! Cool! Yay! Hey, stop! Can't catch me! Oh, yes, I can! Nope! Yup! <laughs> You're funny, Tessa. What happens next? Well, uh... They keep running? And chasing each other? Then they run some more... And... And... Uh, you need a better story, Tessa. Zika digga do. Hey, look! It's Police Officer Becky! Officer Becky! Hello, Officer Becky! Hello! Officer Becky is great. I'll bet she's really good at solving things. Yeah, police officers like to figure things out, like I do. So I'd make a great police officer. And they have to act fast when someone needs help, like I do. So I'd be the best. I think I'd be the best. No, I would. Why don't we find out who'd make the best police officer? A police adventure! Yeah, let's go! Have 
some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have so much fun. I'm here to help. Okay, let's figure this out. The blue car goes first, then the red and yellow cars pass, and open things up for the green car. The perfect plan. Huh? Keep moving, please. Stop. Okay, go. And now you. This way, please. Over here. Oh, thank you, Officer Tessa. No problem. I'm always ready to jump in and help. <laughs> what in the name of dashing ducklings is going on? Poor Mama Duck. Her babies won't stay in line. Officer Tessa will help. <laughs> Whoa, you come back here. Mm. Of course. Excuse me, may I borrow your fishing pole? Mama Duck, Officer Sophie has this all figured out. Your babies keep chasing after all different things they want. Hey! And since they all want bread, now they'll chase after you. You're welcome, ma'am. All you really needed was a plan. Problem, little kittens. We're three little kittens, and we've lost our mittens. I'll, I'll find, find them. them. Don't worry. I'll figure out where your mittens are. I'll look everywhere till I find them. You can't just start looking. You need more information to find them. No time for that. These kittens need help right now. Getting information is helping. Looking everywhere is faster. Well, I'm going to find the mittens first. I'll find them first. Hmm. Ugh. Tell me, please, when was the last time you saw the kittens and their mittens? Oh, my. Have they lost them again? Oh, they should be more careful where they put their things. Just the facts, ma'am. When did you last see them? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I saw the kittens with mittens playing in the meadow. Thank you. This information will help me be the first to solve the case of the missing mittens. Hmm. I don't see any mittens. I bet those birds can see a lot more of fairy tale land from way up there. I need to get up higher. If I'm going to be the first to solve... The case of the missing mittens. Those kittens. They're always losing their mittens, and they never know where to find them. Have you seen the kittens around here? Oh, yes. They love coming to the meadow to play with my children, who, by the way, have never lost a pair of mittens. Just the facts, ma'am. I understand. Kittens love to climb. 
And that's a fact. Oh, their favorite tree is the tallest one in the fairy tale forest. Thank you, ma'am. That will definitely help me to solve the case of the missing mittens. I found them! I found them. I found them first. I'm going to get them first. But how am I going to get them? I can't climb all the way up there. This big balloon can't get close enough to reach them. Tessa, I can't do this alone. I think we need to work together to finish... The, the Case of the, the Missing Mittens. One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. And when we work together, there's nothing we can't do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. I jump in to be helpful. I help to plan the way. And if we work together, then we can save the day. of the missing mittens is solved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, little kittens, try to be more careful with your mittens. Yo, yo, yo! Bye. Bye now. Bye. Um, has anyone seen my shoes? Once upon a time, there were three little doggies. Ruff! The first little dog... That's me! ...built a dog house made of straw. But then... A great big wolf came along and said... Let me in, or I'll blow your house down! Stop in the name of the law! Huh? As police officers, we cannot let you blow someone's house down. But... That's how the story goes. Sorry, ma'am. The law is the law. I heard that one little dog is building a strong doghouse of bricks. Ahem. <clears throat> We're not at that part yet. Why don't we build a brick house for everyone so no one's house will get blown down? We can all work together on that. This is not how the story goes. We can build one way over there for the wolf. We can use these bricks. <gasps> and so, together, they built four brick houses, and they all lived happily ever after. Cool! Dig a dig a do! You're a rocket. I think a pterodactyl. Mia, come and guess what Kobe is. No, thanks. I'm going to put on a play about a beautiful, perfect, princessy princess. Okay, have fun. Oh, I know! You're an airplane. My turn now. Kobe, can you pretty princess please watch my most favorite princess outfit? I need to find some other stuff for my play. Sure, Mia. I promise. Thanks, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> a pogo stick! A frog! A bouncing ball? A trampoline! Oh, what an M amazing outfit! So sparkly and shiny. Wait, I know! You're a kangaroo! Right! Your turn again, Kobe. Um, that's okay. I already had a turn. Besides, I promised to watch Mia's princess outfit. Uh-oh. You go next, Sophie. Sure. I have to find something. Hmm. I am the Emma Amazing Princess Emma! Emma? Those are Mia's things. It's okay. Mia's my friend. She won't mind if I borrow them just for a little while. But I promise... I'll be a princess, and you'll be my brave knight! 
Me? A knight? Let's go on a fairy tale land adventure, Kobe. Yeah, I would be an amazing knight. Uh, Kobe, didn't you promise to watch Mia's outfit for her? Oh, yes, but I will be watching it on Emma. some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure Take your outfit to Fairy Tale Land. What? Come on, we have to get it back. Your royal carriage awaits, Your Highness. Uh, oh dear. That is not Princess Mia. Stay calm, Humpty. Uh, welcome, Princess. Um, um. Emma. Princess Emma! As a royal guard, I have promised to care for every princess in the realm. And a promise is a promise. Yay! I should take Emma back. Mia's gonna need her princess outfit for her play. This is for you, royal knight! Wow! Cool! To the castle! Lead the way! Goes my princess outfit. So much for Kobe's promise. Please step aside, Mr. Dragon, and open the gates. Sorry. Rules say that I must keep the castle safe for the princess. I am a princess. Can you open the gates? <laughs> oh, really? <gasps> I know she's not Princess Mia, but she is a princess. Oh. <gasps> Hmm. Please come in, Princess. Uh, um, Emma. Oh, this is Emma amazing. Oh. <sighs> oh, isn't it wonderful? We have a new princess. We simply must have a party to celebrate. This is all really great, Emma, but I think we should go home now. Hear ye, hear ye. Today, there will be a celebration for Princess... Uh, hmm. Emma. Emma! With a special show by her royal knight. Did you hear that, Kobe? You're gonna put on a show. Yeah, I heard. I better try to find Mia and tell her what I've done. Ugh. Sorry, but I can't let you in. This entrance is for princesses only. But... I am a princess. I just don't have my princess outfit on. No outfit, no entry. That's the rule. But I need to get in so I can get my outfit. <laughs> Good try, you two. But I am a dragon. You can't get past me. However, you might get around me by going through the tower window. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> There's my things! We have to get up there, Jack. Maybe these will help. Are those magic beans? Yes, they are. They're magic, all right. <laughs> Fairy tale land. Looking for someone? 
Yes. Princess Mia, perhaps? Yes. I have to tell her that I made a big mistake. I made a promise, and I didn't keep it. Do you know where she is? Follow me. <laughs> Almost got it. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? I want to tell you I'm sorry, Mia. You trusted me to watch your things, and I let Emma borrow them. I broke my promise. I'm really sorry. Really? Really. And now I promise I'll get them back for you. How? I'll ask Emma to give them back. I know she will. Hmm, okay. Thank you, Kobe. Uh -uh. Sorry, but Humpty and Ginger won't let anyone talk to Princess Emma until after the show. Oh, I promised I'd get Mia's things for her, and I will, one way or another. Here's what we do. <clears throat> um, today, we are here to celebrate Princess... Uh, oh. Emma. Emma! Let the celebration begin! When you make a promise, you give your word. But let's be honest, sometimes it's very hard to keep a promise and follow through with what you say that you're going to do. But a promise is a promise, it's a promise to be true. It's important to be honest and do what you say you'll do. When you make a promise, that promise is real. So follow through, cause a deal is a deal. Keep your promise, just be true and always do what you say you'll do. Cause a promise is a promise, it's a promise to be true. It's important to be honest and do what you say you'll do. Mia? What's going on? Why did the dragon give you the tiara and wand? Because they're my tiara and wand. Wait, guys, this is all my fault. I promised Mia I would watch her princess outfit while she got more stuff for her princess play. What? I didn't know you were going to do the play today. I am sorry. I'm the one who's sorry, Emma. I should have said something. And I'm sorry, Mia. You trusted me, and I broke my promise. Thank you for saying you're sorry, Kobe. And don't worry, Emma. We can both be princesses today. That's Emma amazing! Yay! Two princesses! <laughs> A duck? He's a dragon, of course. How was your adventure, guys? Great. I was a princess. I got to climb a magic beanstalk. I learned how important it is to keep a promise. And I got lots of great ideas for my princess play. Who wants to be in it? I do. Sounds fun. I want to be in it. Kobe will be the royal knight and watch over us all. Right, Kobe? Yep. I promise. I'm a Ooh. dragon. I want to be fairy. Roar! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hand me a bucket, please, Tessa. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I need it for my town. Huh. There, just a few more stores. What you making, Mia? I'm building my very own town. This is the school, and this is the road to the school. This is a toy store, an ice cream parlor, and this is the mayor's house. Who's the mayor? Me. That's why this town is called Mia Town. Cool. I'm gonna build Eddieville. Right next door. And I'll make Sophie Gardens. No, you can't. This is Mia Town. I made it up all by myself. We won't change it, Mia. 
We'll make our own towns. And we won't take any of your stuff. Come on, let's make some plans. But... I don't want them to play town. This was my idea. What if they build better towns than me? I know. I'll make my town so big, there won't be any room for theirs. This big house right here. Steady Eddie is ready to build. Me too. We're ready to build, Mia. Mia Town has grown. Like it? But Mia, there's not enough room now for us to build our towns. Sorry. I guess you'll have to play something else. I guess we could. Or we could go somewhere where there's lots of room, like Snow Globia. Yes, there's room there for all of us to build. Come on, Mia. Well, okay. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Here it comes! Huh. Whoa! Nice duck, Sophie. Oh, you're in for it now. Oh, nice throw, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Mia? <laughs> Mia, where are you going? I'm going to go build something. Great. Want some help? No, thanks. I guess Mia wants to play by herself today. I guess. Duck! Ah! <laughs> I don't want them to see the snow castle I'm building, or they may want to copy me again. Snow castle's my idea. It's going to be tall with a big throne room and pointy things on top. And a special place to put my Mia flag. Not bad, but it could use a nice ice slide. Who said that? Me! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, hello. Who are you? Name's Celia. What's yours? I'm Mia. So, you're building something. Um, yes. My very own snow castle. <laughs> I could never think up something like that. Uh, thanks. But you know what might be cool? An ice slide all the way around. Wow, I love that. But I don't know if I can build that by myself. Want some help? Okay. My heart sparkle. <gasps> Wait! One more thing. Whee! <laughs> Wait for me! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Our snow house is awesome, Eddie. Yeah! Let's get me to come and see it. Maybe we can build another one all together. You close your eyes and count to five, Mia. I'll hide. Oh, I love hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Eddie and Sophie, I don't want Celia to see them. She might like them better than she likes me. Hey, Mia, who are you talking to? Oh, you must have heard me 
sing my, uh, building song. It's my building song and it's not too long. Just a song. <laughs> wow, your snow castle is amazing. We made a snow house. Want to see it? Uh, no thanks. I'm just going to build some more stuff here. Why don't we all build together? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no thanks. I'm okay. You go ahead, have fun. Bye-bye. Phew. <gasps> Home free! <laughs> wow, you win, Celia. Was somebody else here, Mia? I heard you talking. I was singing my hide-and-seek song. Hide-and-seek song, it's not very long. My song. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's your turn to hide. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like laughing. No, that's not laughing. That's, uh, the wind. Ooh, ah, ooh. Keep counting, Celia. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Woo! <laughs> wow! Oh, I knew I heard someone. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Celia. Hi, I'm Eddie, and this is Sophie. Want to play with us? Hey! Celia's my new friend, and we're playing hide-and-seek right now. Oh, but let's go sliding with them, Mia. It looks like fun. Come on! Come on, Mia! Yeah, come on, Mia! In a minute... Rats! We only have two saucers, Celia. You can use mine first. And Mia can use mine. I don't need a saucer. Oh, oh, yeah! oh, that was cool. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Mia, what are you still doing here? Come and grab a snow saucer. No, thanks. <laughs> What's wrong? Is everything okay? No, it's not fair. Celia was my friend. I'm still your friend, Mia. Yeah, but now you like Eddie and Sophie better than you like me. I don't like anyone better. I like all of you. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Really? Sure. There's always room for another friend. <laughs> right, guys? That's, That's right. right. You and I are friends forever through the good times and the bad. I'll always be your pal whenever you're happy. Or you're sad And when a new friend comes along Our friendship circle starts to grow You all lose a friend, you gain one Now there's one more friend you know The more, the merrier A friendship circle never ends The more, the merrier There's always room for one more friend The more, the merrier A friendship circle never ends I tried to keep Celia all to myself. The more, the merrier. The more, the merrier! have to build a new town called Lucky Town. Perfect! You're building a town called Lucky Town? Yep. Can we help? <laughs> yeah. Sure. The more the merrier in Lucky Town. <gasps> <laughs> okay, Kobe. Jetty! Woohoo! Awesome! Eddie, you're supposed to.
supposed to try and catch it. I know, but I love the noise the boom bouncer makes when it hits the ground. Kick it to me, Eddie. Okay. <laughs> 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 Silly doggy. It's just a ball. He's not silly, Tessa. The boom bouncer noise scared him. It's okay, Lucky. We all get scared sometimes. Here's what I do when a loud noise scares me. <laughs> you made him feel better, Kobe. Good boy, Lucky. A fire truck! Let's go see! <laughs> What's going on? Can you see? Wow! Mrs. Melvin's cat got stuck in the tree again. The firefighters are going to use their ladder to get it down. Ooh! They're so helpful and brave. That makes my heart sparkle. Yeah, I bet firefighters never get scared of anything. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Tessa. Not firefighters and not me. I'm going to be a firefighter someday. Me too. Hey, we should go on a firefighter adventure. Who wants to come? Me. I do. Eddie and I are going to stay here to watch the rescue. Have fun. Have some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together, there's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination, you could be anyone. Fire truck? <laughs> That's silly. It's just a fire truck. Tessa, I don't think she's ever seen one before. New things can be scary. Come on, Tessa. Let's show her our truck. Great idea! This is where Kobe and Tessa hold on and ride. This is our ladder. We use it to reach things that are really high. And this is where the driver sits. <laughs> hey, that's my seat. Now let's drive you home. Fire and rescue, away! Let's go! All right! Bye-bye, Bunny. So long, so long Bunny. Bunny. Oh, help! Please! Sounds 
like someone's in trouble. Tumpty Dumpty, up on a wall. I don't want to have a great fall. Uh, he looks scared. Well, that's silly. He climbed up. Why should he be scared to climb down? I remember the first time I climbed up to the treehouse. I was too scared to climb back down. Huh. Well, we need to help him. But it's really high. I'll do it. I used to be scared, but now I love to climb. A big egg like Humpty would be scared of anything. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Tessa. Here we go. Oh, my. Good. <coughs> there you go, Humpty. Safe and sound. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, over here. Hey, Andy. Is something wrong? My son, Otis Beaver, has wandered off again. He probably went to play with some friends in the woods there, but I need him to help me cut these trees. Don't worry. We'll find him for you. Firefighter team to the rescue! Um... Hey, what's wrong, Tessa? Oh, um, nothing. Flies, Tessa. Haven't you ever seen them before? No, they scared me. You things can be scary, like when the bunny first saw a fire truck. You want to go and meet the fireflies together, Tessa? Okay. Everyone's scared of something, no matter how brave they seem. Tight spaces. High places are things you've never seen. Before you shiver or cry or yell, remember your friends are there to help. Cause there's no reason to run and hide when your best friends are by your side. Cause everyone's braver together. Everyone's braver together. shiver or cry or yell cause I know my friends are here to help and there's no reason to run and hide cause my best friends are by my side and everyone's braver together everyone's braver together Thanks for finding them. You're welcome. Now, next time you have a hankering to wander off, you'll let your dad know, won't you, son? I will, Dad. Promise. That's my boy. Aww. That makes my heart sparkle. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. We're back from our fire and rescue adventure. We rescued everybody. Did the firefighters rescue Mrs. Moman's kitty? Yup. She was so happy. Now we're teaching Lucky how to shake hands. <laughs> oh, they're leaving. Come on, let's go watch. No, thanks. I'll stay with Lucky. 
I think he's a little scared. <laughs> Give me a paw. <laughs> hey, thanks, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> everyone the dance I learned in dance class yesterday. No thanks. I'm working on my sandcastle today. It's gonna be great. Okay. First you hop from one foot to the other and back again. This, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> now clap while you're hopping. Two down low, two up high, then four side to side. Uh, how does that go again, Tessa? Now hands on hips and shake, shake, shake. Ugh. Slow down, Tessa. No need to go slow, Mia. This is easy peasy. Now put one hand up and take two steps forward. Put your hand down and take two steps back and jump. Ugh. Ugh. Bye. Okay, now the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and jump. Ugh. Tessa style. Ugh. Hey, where did everybody go? <laughs> your dance is kind of hard, Tessa. And you're going pretty fast. It's not that hard. Anyone can do it. It's hard for us. Maybe we can learn the rest of it tomorrow? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but we were having so much fun. Well, at least I can teach you the rest of the dance, Kobe. Um, yeah. Okay, but I think I need a little break first. Hey, guys! We're all done dancing for today. We're going on an adventure. Want to come along? Yes! No! But we're going to the jungle! It's going to be fun! You and I can dance some more when we get back, Tessa. We all can. Right, guys? Sure. Okay, I'll come. Yay! Take it too! Flamingo. Try it. It's easy. Almost. <laughs> oh, we hop in dance class too. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yeah. <laughs> Andy Beaver. <laughs> hey, Andy. Hello, folks. Looks like you're having a. Hopping good time today. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. How'd you like to help me move some logs? <laughs> it's fun once you get the hang of it. Sure, easy peasy. <laughs> Whoa, <whoa. laughs> huh. That's not easy peasy. It is for me. Look at her go! She's a natural! Yay! Scientific fact, log rolling is all about balance. Zigga digga do! Nice! Cool! Hmm. Okay, you can do this, Tessa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh. Some folks get the hang of it right away, and for other folks, it takes a while. 
Want to try again? No, thank you. Mrs. Ostrich. Are you trying to move your egg to a safe place? Yes, but it's hard getting it up the hill. Well, I can help you with that. Easy peasy. See? Easy peasy. Tessa, wait. That egg is ginormous. Don't worry. I can't. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Stop it. Come on. Catch it! I'll get it! Go, oh, little egg, I'm coming! No, I'll get you, little egg! Come to me, egg! <gasps> I got it! Good job, Eddie! Yeah, you did it! <sighs> oh, you saved my baby! Thank you so much! It really wasn't that hard. I love to run fast. Running fast is easy for Eddie, but it's not so easy for me. Dancing is easy for me. Maybe it's not so easy for Eddie. Hmm, maybe. My coffee! <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. No problem. I'm just trying to make a seesaw. But it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Let me help. Uh, huh? There. Easy peasy. Let's try it. I'm on it. <laughs> Scientific fact. Monkeys can't fly. I'm okay. <laughs> this should do it. Let's try that again. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Still okay! <laughs> I thought building a seesaw would be easy peasy, but it's not. It's okay, Tessa. Why don't we try it again? Woohoo! Check out this awesome seesaw that Kobe built! Oh, ah, ah! Great job, Kobe! Thanks. How did you do that, Kobe? It really wasn't that hard. You just have to balance the board on the rock just right. Want me to show you how to do it? Do you think I could learn? Sure. Thanks, Kobe. Making stuff is easy for you. Just like dancing is easy for you. But maybe with a little patience, we, we can, can both, both learn something new. new. We're different from each other. We do well at different things. Some of us can sing and dance. Some go high on swings. Some run fast and some run slow. And now I think you see. For you, what's easy peasy may be kind of hard for me. Please take the time to teach us. Please be patient and go slow. We'd like to try the things you do, but we don't always know how to do them easy peasy. Help us learn and help us grow. Please take the time to teach us. Please be patient and go slow. for being patient, and for teaching me to build a seesaw. Aw, oh, it was just science. But you're welcome. Woohoo! That was fun! Yeah! <laughs> welcome back, guys. 
I finished my sandcastle. Come and see it. Wow. It's awesome, Sophie. You're very good at building, Sophie. So is Kobe. Kobe built a perfect seesaw today. Cool. And now that my sandcastle is done, I'm ready to learn your dance, Tessa. Okay. Anyone else want to learn? Um, maybe we could. I promise. I'll be patient and go nice and slow. Okay, sure. Let's learn it. Okay, we'll do it nice and slow. First, you hop from one foot to the other and back again. Woohoo! I'm getting it. Thanks for going slow, Tessa. <laughs> Your turn, Mia. Hmm. Wow, nice move, Mia. Now you get to take Tessa's checker. Okay, now it's my turn to try to take one of your checkers, Mia. Checkers? I'm great at this game. Shh, I'm figuring out my next move. Easy, just take that checker and... You're the checkers champ. Well, until you play me, that is. Ugh. Ugh. What? What? Eddie, why did you do that? To help you win. Aren't you happy? No, it was my turn to play, not yours. It's okay. Let's play another one, Tessa. Thanks, Mia. Uh, but you said it's my turn next. It would be your turn if you hadn't taken my turn. Eh, oh well, that's okay. I didn't want to play checkers anyway. What do you want to play, Eddie? Something with lots of action, like soccer or bike riding or maybe snow sledding. I like playing in the snow. Me too. We should go on a snow adventure too. Snow Globia. <laughs> yeah. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. I'm gonna have so much fun. Looks like there's going to be some kind of contest today. Yeah! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! Hello, hello. I'm Sam. Are you here for the winter snow games? Winter snow games? Yes! That's why we're here! That's great. I really want to win this year. Just like I do every year. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we need to split into teams. I'll be on your team, Sam, because you like to win, like me. Team Sophie Kobe is ready to go. Then let the winter snow games begin. Follow me. First event, snow tennis. How in the name of Freezy Sneezies do we play tennis in the snow? <laughs> Easy. We use our snowshoes for tennis rackets. Like this. Okay. Ready? Steady Eddie is super ready. Here comes my first serve. I got it. Ah. Woohoo! Point for our team. Um, it was supposed to be my shot. We won the point, right? Right. 
Let's keep playing. Uh, this time I'm really good at it. <laughs> oh, got it. Got it. That's mine. Sophie? That's game! We win! Woo! That was super fun! <sighs> but I didn't even take one shot! Next up, the sled race. Now that's my kind of game. They call me Sleddy Eddie. Here are the rules, everyone. We slide down the hill to those flags, grab a flag, then push off again to the finish line. We're gonna win for sure! Cause I'm really good at pushing. Uh, uh, ready, set, go! Huh? Oh. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! 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 Okay, but let me push off. Wait, no, 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 stop! Uh, got it! Your turn to push, Kobe! Sing it, sing it, too! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Whoa! When we win, we scream and shout, because winning's what it's all about! <laughs> right, Eddie? <laughs> Right, I guess. <sighs> yeah, nice job, Sophie. That was really such a blast. Even though we came in last. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I like to win, but I think they're having more fun. Okay, it's time for the last competition. Whatever the game is. I'm going to actually play this time. The last game is the snowman making contest. Best one wins. Yes! I'm a great snowman maker. <whistles> that means go. But Chica Chica do this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Now we can use my snowball for the head. No need. Whoa. 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 <sighs> Time's up. All done. Whoa. We're done, too. I hope we get a good score. Two, two, one. What about us? What's our score? Three, three, one. We got the highest score. You got the highest score. I didn't get to help at all. Oh. Oh. When we win, we scream and shout because winning's what it's all about. <sighs> Great job, guys. Your team won the Winter Snow Games. It was fun, wasn't it? Yes. Not really. Well, of course it was. We won! I know, but you know what? Winning isn't everything. I'd like a turn to do my thing. Uh, what does that mean? When you're playing a game, here's something to learn. It's way more fun if we all get a turn. Winning is cool and trophies are nice. But when everyone's out on the snow and the ice, slipping and sliding and giggling and burring, it's way more fun when we all get a turn. Winning isn't everything, and others like to do their thing. Listen close and try to learn. Everyone deserves a turn. Winning isn't everything. Listen close and try to learn. Everyone deserves a turn. Now I know 
hug Tessa must have felt when I won her checkers game for her. I bet she was really happy. No, she wasn't. She wanted to play her own game, win or lose. Yeah, I don't get it. Gaming isn't everything. Isn't everything. And others like to do their thing. Listen close and try to learn. Everyone deserves a turn. Yeah! Yay! Okay! Woohoo! Awesome! Woohoo! Hey, Tessa, did you win? Not yet. But please don't show me what move to make. Don't worry, Tessa. I've learned my lesson. It's not my turn yet. Even though I see a really good move. Right. Never mind. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, great move, Tessa. That's just what I would have done if it were my turn. <laughs> I won! I think I really won! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> wow! I guess it wasn't such a great move after all, huh? Still, that was a good game. Good game, Mia! 